Borg scale, rating of perceived exertion scale, it was developed 1982 by the Swedish psychophysicist Gunnar Borg. He was trying to correlate someone's heart rate to their perceived level of exertion. So if you are running at 150 beat per minute, what is your perceived level of exertion? How difficult it is? How breathless are you at that um, level of heart rate? And then he originally um, developed this scale from just dividing by 10, so that makes 6 to 20 level. And then it was modified uh, for for 0 to 10 scale for even uh, to make it more useful and these are the definition for the uh, scales so what 10 means near maximal someone is feeling like they're dying um, 180 if a person is 40, 40 years old whose heart rate would be 100 and maximum is 180 at that level that person will feel like dying are very very maximal uh, for and if you try to look at the exercise zones based on these uh, different rating level and the definition so these are the exercise zones for them now for the for the ergonomics wall this Borg scale is very common and then it just present like this instead of heart rate all of that you simply do that now um, someone might say now most people have heart rate today you know then heart rate is of course objective measure um, the the trap or the uh, problem with the heart rate is uh, my computer is stuck so the problem with the heart rate is basically think about a situation where um, an athlete runner um, he or she can let's say running at five miles an hour now there will probably be around somewhere here on this heart rate level at five miles an hour maybe around this level but think about a situation where a 400 pound person is trying to run at five miles an hour will be somewhere around here so um, using this objective measure sometimes may be a little bit not that appropriate now if you present this then that's a way of uh, kind of evaluating the job now for an eight hour period um, the ergonomics recommendation is you should not go over um, this three or four level of effort. So for an eight hour job, it should not require anything more than four. Most textbooks actually recommend less than three. So it's basically if you want to know a little bit more about um, the level of effort, you can check this video under the openeducator.com, this video number five. Uh, this number might change. It says activity training, exercise, ergonomics, so on. So there I have explained um, what level, effort level, it what at what heart rate level and things like that, ergonomic work zone, exercise zone, things like that. For this um, video though, I just wanted to explain only the perceived rating of uh, exhaustion scale, modified Borg scale. It's a 0 to 10 scale from nothing, no effort at all to very very uh, high level of effort so uh, to collect data simply you present this to an worker and ask them what their effort level and then um, the time weighted or average for eight hours should not go over three or four should be kept between that now this scale is common in medical field in exercise science in medical field maybe a doctor is trying to change the pain medication so they present this scale to a patient and say what is your pain level at this moment and then they can change the medication this is used in medical field a lot too um, just instead of asking perceived exertion, they ask what's your pain level at 0 to 10 is scale. So they're kind of trying to uh, use this. And then in the exercise science also, you simply just ask them what's their effort level and then shoot for a particular target level of uh, exercise zones. So as you can see here, I have... Um, kind of lay out the exercise zone with different level from 0 to 10. Of course you can see that with the heart rate correlated on this video but this video basically simply explain what is the uh, Borg scale and how you use that in actual work tasks. So you just present this to an individual and ask for their effort level or exhaustion level or discomfort level or pain level depends on whatever you are trying to evaluate.